If you're looking for something to do in Napa other than wine tasting, check this place out. Well, it's home to the toys of yesteryear. I'm John Bartow, making a little pit stop at the Toy Museum in Napa. Before the advent of video games and action figures, kids played with, of all things, mechanical banks. <laughs> what, mechanical banks? I mean, did they, these, were these were popular? Oh, yes. From 1869 into the 1920s. Times were simpler back then, and that simplicity is exactly what Charles and Maggie Hall are trying to preserve. Hey, what do we got here? Are so these, these, are, wood? these are wood with paper covers. Now, this is a toy that a working class family can afford. For as long as he can remember, Charles has been collecting antique toys from all over the world. The toy museum is essentially Charles' version of a grown up toy box, and he roped his wife Maggie into organizing it. Is your husband just a big kid? Yes. <laughs> That would be a very good description. The collection spans from toys made in the 1960s all the way back to the 1860s. A lot of toys here were mass produced with few parts, but other toys like this Noah's Ark toy were hand carved with lots of parts. We've got an ark, Noah's Ark. His animals there. Well, most of his animals. We have over a hundred animals still in the back. Each display case takes you through different decades of toys made for both boys and girls, like these early 1900s washing machine toys. So that was a very common thing that a lot of the girls' toys were around domestic chores. I'm sure that uh, a lot of women nowadays are, are glad that these are gone. <laughs> probably, I think you're probably right. Flash forward to the post-World War II era, and you'll find some of these rare Japanese-made robot toys, like Big Lou, your friend from the moon, which is a one-off toy only made in one year, in 1963, because of its complex functions. He shoots darts from his chest, he shoots water from his stomach, he shoots missiles from his feet, he shoots balls from his legs. Currently on loan at the museum is a rare collection of Barbie dolls, which includes some of her friends, which you may or may not know about. And we have Ken, of course. Uh -huh. And we have, um, well, let's see, we've got Alan. Alan, which is kind of a rare one. Well, he's Midge's boyfriend. Yeah. Like most toy boxes, they often fill up as time goes on. And that's true for the toy museum, too. When will this collection be complete? <laughs> um, that would be hopefully so. Hopefully so. <laughs> I think we're always looking, you know, to see is there something that's really special. From the Toy Museum in Napa, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.